What is going on guys? So today I wanted to talk about the new Corvette C8 which is coming out tomorrow and me being a Corvette owner I must say I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, the reason today I'm driving my Jeep is I had just got back from deployment a couple days. Uh, actually yesterday I take that back. Uh, and Finally got the Corvette started. I had to put it back together. Didn't get to finish the cam and headers. Went out today to get inspected for my new registration. Sadly, shit went downhill and I was picking up a bag of ice. Got back in the car and the fob decided to die. So car won't start. So today I'm, I'm gonna go get one eventually. Uh, but onto the C8 and uh, talk about my car and the RX-7, what's to come with that in a different video, so stay tuned. And uh, so, comes out tomorrow, it's supposed to get released, I believe in California. They're not gonna go on sale until later this year from what I've, under, I've heard. So far what I've heard, which I've been seeing on several places, holy shit, I hope the tires can't be heard. So far, we're seeing the base model should have the improved LT2 6.2 liter, which is an upgrade from the C7, and uh, projected to make about, they're thinking low five, probably right at 500 from the factory. Probably nothing crazy for the base model. We're looking at an MSRP, somewhere around 62,000 from what's been ballpark and what I've been finding in most places, which have gotten some pretty accurate predictions in the past. Uh, and uh, so far, which is very interesting, uh, the Z06 will have the 5.5 uh, liter dual overhead cam flat plane crank, which is very odd for any kind of muscle car that Chevy has ever produced. Like, dual overhead cams just never been a thing. And it's very weird that they're straying from it, but I see why. Because they're wanting to compete more than just other American cars. Uh, apparently they were seen driving with a Porsche 911S. And I believe that's kind of what they're trying to beat. And, uh, I've been seeing these videos going around the track, and I must say, I believe it was the base model I've been seeing. And I must say, I'm pretty amazed by what I've been what I've been seeing and uh, from there that's for the Z06 you go up to the ZR1 package is predicted to have the 5.5 liter same setup but with twin turbos no predictions for horsepower on either of them uh, I would say ZR1 we're probably looking more around the 800 750 range probably not a big increase from last uh, last generations and then finally, what I am so happy to hear about and very excited is the Zora package, which Zora was the name of an engineer that originally started on the mid-engine Corvette. I don't know what years he was at uh, working for Chevy, but uh, this car is gonna be retarded because uh, I've been reading these articles. Uh, they were doing testing for top speeds and the torque of this engine was literally twisting the chassis because everybody knows like Corvettes have always had stupid light chassis was twisting it and cracking the glass and so I don't know like how that's going to work out because the Zora, that was with the 900 they reported with a 900 horsepower engine the Zora is supposed to make about a thousand it's going to run off the same 5.5 twin turbo as the Z06 but instead of having the front hood uh, we're looking like the, there's going to be a hybrid electric engine driving the front wheels, making this thing all-wheel drive. And I must say, I don't know, I couldn't tell you how much this thing's going to cost. It's going to be quite a bit more expensive than the C701, I'll say that much. Probably looking more towards a quarter, $250,000, somewhere up in that range. But I must say, I can't name many cars that I can see and even giving this car some competition. Like, it, it is blowing my mind how great this thing is but this thing is looking impressive uh, so far right now up until tomorrow of course there's only renderings kind of like some predictions on body lines we can't really see with the uh, 
the way the paint's looking. So hopefully, after tomorrow, it's all we've expected, and these renderings have been pretty accurate, hopefully. So that will be nice, and I will definitely be covering tomorrow and breaking it down. Another sad thing is I haven't been able to find any news on them making a manual transmission for this car. Uh, so sadly, I, I can't guarantee that. I'm kind of feeling like they're going away from American with the Corvette since I mean we've already they're already throwing it mid-engine and hybrid so honestly I won't be shocked if there's not a manual option I mean maybe the base model might get a manual option we don't know uh, I just I can't say I know Tremec from what I've been reading hasn't said anything about a transmission that they're that they're making that would work with a mid-engine car uh, I just know that right now they're talking about the 10 speed auto uh, dual clutch. So, I mean, honestly, I'd be happy with that. I 100% I plan right as of now, unless some, something else crosses my mind and I have other plans with my current two cars. We'll get into that. I'll probably keep them for a while. I'd like to get my hands on a C8 as soon as it comes out for sale, but we'll talk about that at a different time. Uh, definitely, if a manual option's out there, I will. It'll go more into my priority list of getting one to review it. Uh, automatic, I'd still be happy with if I have the extra cash to throw at one. Oh, AC finally kicked on. Uh, I just don't know about it yet. Uh, I, I have some high expectations. I'm hoping the price isn't much over, I, I would say, I'll, preferably not over $65,000, but you never know. I mean, it's a whole new car. It's a, it's not, it's a Corvette, but it's, nowhere different like the c7 was a nice change from the c6 but now we're talking like a whole new setup and uh it can literally go either way with it okay just got gas so on to the next rumor uh which is ecu problems uh by problems i mean modifications uh, apparently from also more uh word going around through threads is the ECU is gonna cause some problems for modifications and tuning. And it seems as if uh, Corvette's kinda of trying to keep people away from modifying the, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be the same, obviously uh, it's gonna, I don't know how the base model is gonna do with that. I feel like the base model will probably be pretty easily modified, but I feel like with the 5.5 liter, this being a new thing for Chevy and the Corvette, they're kind of wanting people to stay away from modifying it and not causing reliability issues uh, to the point where it seems like it's on Chevy's end when mistakes start happening and engines start blowing. Uh, and I guess it's Corvette's way of saying or trying to keep it from that backfiring on them and it seeming like it's their fault for a poorly designed engine when it, it could also be just poor modifications and poor uh, poor maintenance even. So that, that pretty much sums it up for uh, what, what uh, so far is coming of the C8, uh, my expectations. Uh, I really hope the ECU is not a thing. I, I want this thing to be easily modifiable. That would be on the top of my list is easy to modify because it's just a Corvette thing. You don't see many stock Corvettes. I mean, if and if it's a, I, I don't want it to be a pain in the ass to even put an exhaust on it. I mean, I'd like, you know, some choppy cams, a nice exhaust, all kinds of things to the car. I mean, you, you got to make it American sound American. And uh, so that's that. That's probably at the top of my list. Number two, quality interior. And uh, this is something Chevy tends to fail with. It seems like. Uh, I haven't got to sit in a whole lot of C7s, only never really drove one, uh, but I notice Chevy tends to skip out on the interior, and I really hope they don't do that. I hope they don't cheap out. I hope they put some nice interior, because what I've always been a Chevy fan at heart. I do drive a Jeep that's a toy, uh, more of a daily, but I've had fun in it. But uh, I was a huge fan of the newer Camaro Z28 when it hit. I was huge fan I wanted one so bad couldn't afford it at the time obviously uh, the interior though really drew drove me away because of the fact that the Z28 which you're paying over $60,000 for this performance car 
yet you're getting the interior of my 2010 Jeep making this nasty plastic, so, like it's all plastic. And I, don't, I just don't, it confuses me how you, you're gonna sell a car for $70,000 and yes, it performs, but the not, like, every guy will buy a car that performs, but you also want the, that nice luxury of having just nice insides and showing it off. You don't want to have somebody come up in here and see a plastic dashboard and they're like, damn, how much did you pay for this? And you say 70 grand and they're like, well, my $30,000 car has full leather interior. And I mean, it's just not a nice thing. Uh, top three. And I would say my last expectation, which I, I mentioned earlier, is price to not exceed 65000 for the base model. Just because, yes, it looks like an insanely crazy good looking car. You'd probably show it to most people that are outside of the car community. They'd probably look at it and be like, damn, that thing's probably well over $100,000 for just a base model. But I really hope that Chevy doesn't go with that thinking and just be like, well, we can slap on a thousand dollar price tag on it because other manufacturers do to their cars and we can sell it i really hope that they stick with that that original american affordability and uh that they didn't skip out on small things to make it affordable i hope it's the same good chevy quality products a quality corvette and it just doesn't exceed that price because i understand every generation is going to get a little more expensive as we go on so that's my summary. Uh, make sure to stay tuned for my coverage tomorrow. Stay tuned for RX-7 and the Corvette project. Can't wait to see what we make of that. And uh, yeah, watch tomorrow. Stay on the lookout. I'll be covering the C8 and uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to also make sure to turn on notifications, subscribe, like, comment what you like, comment what you didn't like. Feedback's always good. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.